picked up a set booster box to go along with my pre-release packs. And uh, these do have cards on the list. I'm actually really excited to open this and find out if we can pull any of them. Let's check it out. Alright, it is time for Strixhaven School of Mages. Which professors are we going to get? A prestigious academy of unparalleled magics. Welcome to Strixhaven. Join one of the five colleges and begin your magical re-education. Okay, let's do this. Let's break this wizard's seal. And let's crack into it right now. Hopefully we pull some good mystical archive cards. I'm hoping to maybe get a demonic tutor. That would be really nice. What do you guys think? Demonic tutor? Huh? Maybe. Okay. Let's crack into this. Let's put this aside. Get our stacks out. Let's see what we get. Okay. First stack, first pack. Let's do it. Remember, there is a pull tab here. I don't like the pull tab too much sometimes, though. If we get an art card, we flip it over, I guess. And our card is... Oh, that's kind of cool. And what is this one? Uh, Leonin Light Scribe. Okay, first art card. We got a mountain. Start from scratch. That's what we're doing right now. Quandrix Campus. Quandrix Pledge Mage. Soothsayer Adept. Field Trip. Arcway Commons. Vortex Runner. And we have a Ingenious Inspiration. Culling Ritual. I, I see this card show up so much. Maybe it's like the easiest card to get. I don't know. Maybe it is. Uh, I do see it a lot. And uh, what else do we have? We have an archive card. Ooh, nice. Inquisition of Kozilek. Not a bad card at all. Not a bad card at all. Okay, so I need to find where I should put these stacks. Oh, man. This box is already falling apart. I'm going to put them all the way over there. We'll pull the better cards at the end. We do have a foil Prismari Campus. Okay, cool. And let's time. it's time to study up right now. Okay, let's... Crack open the second pack. What are we going to get? Our art card is a Inquisition of Kozilek. Speaking of the card I literally just pulled right now. And look at that nice M. Lewis signature right there. We have a Plains to start things off there. Uh, Fractal Summoning. Eureka Moment. Leylon Vindication. Biomathematician. Serpentine Curve. Square Up. Rutha Mercurial Artist. Reflecting Golem. And we have a Callus. Blood Mage is our rare in this pack. And we have a Cultivate. Beautiful, beautiful art right there. And we have an Essence Infusion. And uh, now I'm totally lost. I have no idea what just happened there. Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's crack open this second pack. We do have a Vortex Runner as our art card here. Not too bad. No signature on that one. We have a Swamp. Let's just, bla Actually, let's just blast through these. I don't want to slow roll these too much. Radiant Scroll Wielder. Okay. And then we have, a, ooh, Increasing Vengeance. A Mythic Mystic Archi Archive card. Not bad at all. Not bad. Put that in that pile there. And we have a Big Play. And we do have a Welcome to Magic. Wow, is this a Mythic? Okay, let's get into the next pack. Get. We have a Spectral Mage. Do we... Hmm. I feel like we got that one. All right, let's uh, blast these commons and uncommons. We have a Fury Calm Snarl. Not a bad land to have. Not a bad land. Very nice. And we do have a Memory Lapse. Rare Mystical Archive card. And we have an Access Tunnel. And ooh, we do have our first list card. It's a reprint from Tempest. Solitary Monk. Not bad. So we finally do have a list card. Not the best list card. But we do got one. Nice. What is this one? Uh, what was this called? Is this, uh, I'll remember. I think it was increasing. No, I can't remember now. If I think about it right now, I'll just stall. Let's just blast through these. Okay. We have a Shelly Dean of Radiance. And we have a Baleful Mastery. So we do have two rares in this pack. And then we got Sign in Blood. I love the art on this one. Really cool. Rip Apart. Friday Night Magic. You guys missed that? You guys uh, just play on Arena on Fridays? Pretend you're like at the store? What do you guys do for 
Friday nights. Let me know in the comments if there is much to do at all. Uh, Blex Vexing Priest we have right here. And we got a forest. Let's just blast through these commons and uncommons. Let's get... Ooh, beautiful. Look at that. Oh, wow. Cedric's Silver Quill. Nice Elder Dragon Mythic. Flying Double Strike. Absolute beast. And we got a double major here. Another hit. Uh, Agonizing Remorse is our Mystical Archive card. And then we have a foil Silver Quill Pledge Mage. And now I'm totally lost. Okay. Next pack. Okay, so we're starting to art off with strategic planning. Ooh, very nice art there. An island, and oh, we what the heck? What was that? Basic Conjuration, that was our first card. Wow, okay. So, different order in these packs. Uh, let's just go through these. Okay, we got a Conspiracy Theorist. That's half of my friends uh, during the pandemic. Okay, so let's, uh, ooh, Brainstorm. Nice, 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 nice. I love the art on that one. X spell, and then we have, ooh, another card on the list, Bogart Arsonists. Nice common from Shadowmoor. Very cool. Even if the cards aren't that, you know, I guess valuable on the list, it is cool to revisit the past with those. Awaken the Blood Avatar. Look at that artwork there. Okay, let's blast through these. Okay, we got Lorehold Command. And then... We got Divine Gambit, and we got a Pop Quiz. Nice, very cool. Lorehold Rock Jocks right there. All right, next pack, let's get to it. We're almost on the first pack already. We're flying through this. Torrent Sculptor, that artwork there. Okay, let's blast through these, make sure we don't miss a rare though. Okay, we got Dragon's Guard Elite. Okay, and we do have a Snakeskin Veil. Not too bad. Ooh, Gift of Estates. Foil, rare, Mystical Archive card. Not bad at all. And we got a Wayfarer's Bobble. We got another, wow, I feel like we've got a lot of list cards here. And just the first stack. I feel like in Kaldheim they actually raise the probabilities and uh, the percentage of list cards you do get in the set booster boxes. There's art there. Okay, let's go through these commons. Let's make sure we don't miss anything here. Okay, we got Augmenter uh, Pugilist. Okay, Pugilist. And we have a Dramatic Finale. And then we have a Lightning Bolt. Beautiful. That is amazing. Obviously an iconic card. Very useful across multiple formats. Uh, Ogier Battle Seer. And then we have, look at that. I love that art there. Secret Lair. Don't go to your local game store. Okay, let's uh, crack another pack up and see what we get. We have a Storm Kiln Artist. Let's blast through these cards. Get right to, ooh, nice. Verdant Mastery is our first rare in this pack. Then we have a Claim the Firstborn. And then our foil is Needle Thorn Drake. And then we have to study up. Okay, let's keep these pulls going. Not too many Mythics, though, so far, I have to say. Not too many. Hopefully we can get one now. Clever Luminator. Luminacer. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's just go right through these commons and uncommons fast, and we'll go to Tempted by the Auric. Okay. And we have an Adventurous Impulse. Love the art on that one. And then we got a Tome Shredder, and then we got, ooh, nice! Force Fruition Rare card from the list. This is originally printed in Lorwyn. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, that player draws seven cards. Seven cards! Crazy. Okay. We got a forest. Beautiful artwork there by Adam Paquette. Look at that. Nice. Alright, let's go through these. Make sure we don't miss any rares, though. We got Selfless Glyph Weaver. We got a Demogoth Titan. And we got a Strategic Planning. Witherbloom Apprentice Foil. And then uh, what else? What is the list? I don't know. What is the list? It should have been in that slot, I'll tell you that. Uh, let's go to the next Sign in Blood. Beautiful artwork there. Oh, love that. Okay. Ooh, nice. We do have a rare in the first slot again. Teachings of the Archaics. Not bad. Okay, let's go through. I feel like we have a, a lot of rares though so far. Nice! We got the Blue Red Land, the Frostboil Snar. Not 
too bad. Duress, Mage Duel, and now I'm totally lost. Let's go to the next pack. All right, Silver Quill Command. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, nice. Do you guys collect art cards? Let me know in the comments. I uh, have, I don't really know what it, I should do with my art cards. <laughs> I don't know, let me know, give me a suggestion uh, in the comments down below. Uh, we got a Efreet Flame Painter, okay. And then we got a Doom Blade, beautiful, beautiful card there. Look at that, slash right across. And we got Overgrown Arc, and then we got an Arena card. Okay, let's dive right into this. Strategic Planning. Oh, another one. That is signed Trevino. Nice. Okay. Our first... Ooh, nice mythic. We do have a Harness Infinity. Not too bad. I was just complaining that we didn't get too many mythics. Now we are getting another mythic. Opt. And then we have an Elemental Summoning, and that looks to be it. So far, I gotta say, still a fairly underwhelming box. We haven't hit any crazy pulls so far. Well, I mean, we have, but nothing, you know, nothing top tier. Brainstorm right here, artwork. Let's check this out. Ooh, very nice. Okay, let's make sure we don't pass over any rares. Another mythic, nice. Mila Crafty Companion. And it's a legendary fox that does flip into Luca into a planeswalker. Really cool. That's awesome. And then we do have another mythic. Ooh, you have the uh, Elder Dragon Valamicus Lorehold. Flying Vigilance Haste. What a combo. Okay, Defiant Strike is our mythical archive card. We got Professor of Symbology. And we got to study up. Study up if we want to get more mythics. That's what we want right now. Let's get some mythics or maybe some good mystical archive cards. We got Bookworm here. Let's see what this looks like. Not too bad. We got a Foil Island looking real and nice and shiny. We have an Expanded Anatomy. That's what some people say. I have expanded anatomy. Uh, and we got a... Ooh, 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 what do we got? Oh, there we go. Accomplished Alchemist. Now, this is our first rare in this pack. And we got a Village Rights. Not too bad. Not too bad. Eager first year. That's our foil in the pack. And we do not have any cards on the list in that pack. We will go on to the next one. Ephemerate. Look at that artwork. Wowza. Looking good. Looking really good. My camera just turned off. I hope... Uh... Alright, sorry about that. Back again. Uh, my camera memory card was full. And so I went in, deleted a bunch of old footage, and now we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, I hate when that does happen. But unfortunately it does, especially when you're using a mirrorless or DSLR cameras that use SD cards. Sometimes they fill up. Silver Quill Command is our rare in the pack. And then we do have a Shock. And then we got a Quandrix Cultivator as our foil, looking nice. And then we have a Deathless Knight as our list card. Not a very good list card to get. I mean, this is a set that came out really, really recently. But nonetheless, uh, they put it on the list for people to pull, because uh, people get nostalgia for sets that are a year old right now. So Let's see. Uh, Arrogant Poet. Look at that. Very nice. Okay. Let's see, what else? Ooh, we got a... It's another one of those packs that has the rare right in the front. We have a Confront the Past. So I think it's uh, anything that's a lesson card can be placed uh, anywhere in the pack, really. Let's just put that there. We got... So let's see if we have anything spicy. We do have a foil archive card. I see it. It could be a spicy one. Let's see. We got a Pestilent Cauldron as our rare in this pack. And we have a Strix Haven Stadium. And then Urza's Rage, not bad. And what is our next? This could be a bomb pack. What is it? Oh, it's not a foil. Uh, it's a foil cultivate, though. That's kind of cool. I, I know you don't get too many of these uh, in a box, but I've, I've seen people open regular draft boosters and get like two, three, or sometimes even four of those archive cards. I don't really know how rare they are right now, the foils. I thought they were going to be more rare. I'm actually, when it comes to a scarcity perspective. I, I don't know how they're going to hold on the secondary market. There's just so many of them. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Not bad artwork there. Nice. And we have a Foil Mountain looking nice and shiny. All right, let's blast through these to get to our rare. 
We have a Vanishing Verse. And then we have a Mana Tithe. Not bad, not bad. I think this was printed originally uh, in Planar Chaos, I think. Ooh, we got a Foil Land, Dual Land, Shine Shadow Snarl. That's not a bad pull at all. Ooh, we got a Herald's Horn. Not bad. It's like at least $10 is around that. I think so. But this was originally printed in Commander 2017. Really good in any sort of uh, creature build that has uh, synergy, tribal synergy and stuff. Very cool. Really cool. Awesome. All right, that was a decent list card to pull. Okay, let's go to the next pack. We got a Eureka Moment. I love the name of that card. Okay, let's go through here. Let's see what our first... There it is, an Exponential Growth. That's a, one of the, the better rares in the set. It's a, a pretty exciting card for standard. You Until end of turn, double target creatures power X times. Wow. Weather the Storm is our Mystical Archive card. And then we do have a Resculpt is our foil. And then we have no list card, but we have a nice little secret layer card there. Okay, next pack. Let's see what we get. Okay. We have a Verdant Mastery as our art card. Not bad. Foil Forest. Well, we are getting a lot of foil lands in this. Okay, let's go through here. See what we get. We have an Elemental Expressionist. And we have a snakeskin veil and a spring main servant. Okay, and then we got, ooh, a knowledge pool. Uh, not one of the better cards that's a rare that you can pull on the list, but nonetheless, we do have another card on the list that is a rare. Not bad. Okay. We have a Dragon's Guard Elite as our art card. Not bad, not bad. Forest. And let's get to the rare. We have a Devastating Mastery is our rare. And we have a Divine Gambit. Ooh, a nice foil rare here. Plarg, Dean of Chaos, flips right into Augusta, Dean of Order. Not too bad at all. Okay. On to the next pack. Inquisition of Kozilek, I swear we've already gotten this exact art card. All right, so let's go to the rare in the pack, which is Poet's Quill. And then we have a, ooh, Tainted Pact. Not bad, not a bad. I think this is the second most expensive card, Mystical Archive card. Not bad at all. Nice Mythic, just, I think in foil, it might be worth over $100. Then we have an Elemental Masterpiece. And then now we are back to being totally lost. Let's get to the next pack. All right, okay. Valentine, Dean of the Vein. Nice, look at that artwork. Okay, let's see what our first rare in this pack is. We have a Rushed Rebirth, and then we have an Agonizing Remorse, uncommon, and a Humiliate, and that's it, okay. We have four packs left, that is it. Can we hit another big hit, or will it be? Well, I wouldn't say it's a dud box. It was starting to look like a dud box, but uh, I think the last few packs. All right, sorry about that, back again. Uh, my camera memory card was full, and so I went in, deleted a bunch of old footage, and now we're back. Sorry about that, uh, I hate when that does happen, but unfortunately it does, especially when you're using a mirrorless or DSLR cameras that use SD cards. Sometimes they fill up. Silver Quill Command is our rare in the pack. And then we do have a Shock. And then we got a Quandrix Cultivator as our foil, looking nice. And then we have a Deathless Knight as our list card. Not a very good list card to get. I mean, this is a set that came out really, really recently. But nonetheless, uh, they put it on the list for people to pull because uh, people get nostalgia for sets that are a year old. Let's see, uh, Arrogant Poet, look at that, very nice, okay, let's see, what else, ooh, we got a, it's another one of those packs, has the rare right in the front, we have a Confront the Past, so I think it's uh, anything that's a lesson card can be placed uh, anywhere in the pack, really, let's just put that there, we got, so let's see if we have anything spicy, we do have a foil archive card, I see it, 
That, it could be a spicy one. Let's see. We got a Pestilent Cauldron as our rare in this pack. And we have a Strix Haven Stadium. And then Urza's Rage. Not bad. And what is our next? This could be a bomb pack. What is it? Oh, it's not a foil. Uh, it's a foil cultivate, though. That's kind of cool. I, I know you don't get too many of these uh, in a box, but I, I've seen people open regular draft boosters and get like two, three, or sometimes even four of those archive cards. I don't really know how rare they are right now, the foils. I thought they were going to be more rare. I'm actually, when it comes to a scarcity perspective, I, I don't know how they're going to hold on the secondary market. There's just so many of them. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Not bad artwork there. Nice. And we have a foil mountain looking nice and shiny. All right, let's blast through these to get to our rare. We have a vanishing verse. And then we have a mana tithe. Not bad, not bad. I think this was printed originally uh, in Planar Chaos, I think. Ooh, we got a foil land, dual land, shine shadow snarl. That's not a bad pull at all. Ooh, we got a Herald's Horn. Not bad. It's like at least $10 is around that. I think so. But this is originally printed in Commander 2017. Really good in any sort of a creature build that has a synergy, tribal synergy and stuff. Very cool. Really cool. Awesome. All right. That was a decent list card to pull. Okay. Let's go to the next pack. We got a Eureka Moment. I love the name of that card. Okay, let's go through here. Let's see what our first. There it is, an Exponential Growth. That's a, one of the, the better rares in the set. It's a, a pretty exciting card for standard. You Until end of turn, double target creatures power X times. Wow. Weather the Storm is our Mystical Archive card. And then we do have a Re-Sculpt as our foil. And then we have no list card, but we have a nice little secret layer card there. Okay, next pack. Let's see what we get. Okay. We have a Verdant Mastery as our art card. Not bad. Foil Forest. Well, we are getting a lot of foil lands in this. Okay, let's go through here. See what we get. We have an Elemental Expressionist. Then we have a Snakeskin Veil. And a Spring Main Servant. Okay, and then we got... Ooh, Knowledge Pool. Uh, not one of the better cards that's a rare that you can pull on the list, but... Nonetheless, we do have another card on the list that is a rare. Not bad. Okay. We have a Dragon's Guard Elite as our art card. Not bad, not bad. Forest. And let's get to the rare. We have a Devastating Mastery as our rare. And we have a Divine Gambit. Ooh, a nice foil rare here. Plarg, Dean of Chaos, flips right into... Augusta, Dean of Order. Not too bad at all. Okay. On to the next pack. Inquisition of Kozilek. I swear we've already gotten this exact art card. Alright, so let's go to the rare in the pack, which is Poet's Quill. Then we have a... Ooh, a Tainted Pact! Not bad. Not a bad. I think this is the second most expensive card, Mystical Archive card. Not bad at all. Nice Mythic. Just met, I think in foil, it might be worth over $100. Then we have an Elemental Masterpiece. And then now we are back being totally lost. Let's get to the next pack. All right. Okay. Valentine Dean of the Vein. Nice. Look at that artwork. Okay, let's see what our first rare in this pack is. We have a Rushed Rebirth. And then we have an Agonizing Remorse, uncommon. And a Humiliate. And that's it. Okay, we have four packs left. That is it. Can we hit another big hit or will it be? Well, I wouldn't say it's a dud box. It was starting to look like a dud box, but uh, I think the last few packs kind of made up for it. Semester's End. Okay, and then we got a Infuriate. That was the art that I was thinking of before. Infuriate, and then we got a Campus Guide, and then back to an Arena Code card. Okay. Next. Okay, we got a Dragon's Guard Elite artwork. 
pretty cool. All right, let's go to our first rare. It is a Fervent Mastery. And our next card is a Revitalize. Okay, and then Pilgrim of the Ages is our foil in the pack, and then we're back to being totally lost. We have two packs. Come on, two packs. What are we gonna get in these last two? Let's bring on the value, hopefully. Hopefully we can get the value going here. We have a Crackle with Power. Okay, let's see what else we got. Ooh, we have a Wandering Archaic Avatar. Not bad, it flips into Explore the Vast Lands. And we got an Orc Lore Mage. And we have a Compulsive Research, not bad. I don't know why this is a, a rare though. And then our foil is, ooh, an Agonizing Remorse. Not bad, foil Mystical Archive card. That's not too bad. All right, that's it. Ah, it all comes down to you. Come on, where is the magic? Let's see the magic. And then we can gather around it. In awe. Memory lapse. It's our art card here. Beautiful, beautiful art. Okay. Let's see what we get. We have a Blade Historian. This is our first rare in this pack. We got a Whirlwind Denial. Okay. Uh, and we got a Stone Binders Familiar. We have one last chance at a hit. And what is it going to be? Ooh, we do have a Gatekeeper of Malakar. Not one of the better ones, but it is uh, originally printed in Zendikar. Nice uncommon there. So we got a fair amount of cards on the list. Not too bad. I'm just going to look at this pile really fast. Pull out all the mythics and, uh, well, high value cards, in my opinion. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got here? Let's see. Hmm. Tainted Pact, yes. Foil rare there. We got, well, Knowledge Pool is kind of cool from the list. What else do we have here that we pulled? Herald Horn, uh, Shadow, yeah, Shadow, uh, ugh, Shine Shadow Snarl. Uh, I'm not sure if that, Foil Cultivate might be worth something. Right now, I'm not sure what the market price is on it. So let's, uh, let's see, what else do we have? What was another, there was a Mythic, two Mythics there. Another mythic there. Hmm. Yeah, this dual land as well. Well, I, th I think it was an okay. All said and done, I think it was a decent, a decent opening. Force fruition. That's not bad. Let's see. What else do we have? Lightning bolt. I think. I, I mean, it's probably not worth too much. Gift of Estates. Foil rare. This archive card. Not bad at all. Bogart. No. Yeah, I mean, it was okay. We got that, too. That's right. That was another hit. Uh, overall, mm, all said and done, I think this will be a pretty decent value. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy with this. Inquisition of Cult goes like it's, it's decent. I don't think it's worth too much right now. But yeah, overall, not too bad of a box. Not too bad of a box. Let me know what you guys think. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty nice. Anyways, I will see you in tomorrow's video where I'm actually going to be doing a little interview on my MatCat.